Hi, I'm Andrea Fishman. I'm a native of Los Angeles, California, USA. I'm a lecturer in the English department at Seattle University. I teach and do research on classical and comparative literature and social justice. I've been playing Middle Eastern music for over 30 years, originally as a percussionist, then as a singer. Uh, four years ago, I started studying the kanun, which is an instrument that I always wanted to play. I have been mystified, confounded, and confused by maqam and takasim for about 30 years, even when I started playing kanun. Uh, maqam is something I thought I would never understand, and takasim, me, never. It was just beyond my comprehension, beyond my reach, beyond my level of understanding. I think it's because the way maqam and taksims were explained to me previously, and I don't have a formal musical background at all, uh, the way they were explained to me previously was very formal, very traditional, very conservative, very much in the conservatory manner. And uh, the way takasims and maqam were explained was just incomprehensible. Um, and I felt that this aspect of Middle Eastern music was beyond me. And as a kanunist, that couldn't stand. I wanted so much to be able to understand maqam and to be able to play takasim. So my challenges were the whole theory and methodology of takasim and maqam were out of reach intellectually, practically. They were explained in a way that was very much, as I said, conservatory-based, conservative. I think for people who'd had a background in uh, Middle Eastern music or perhaps classical music, either Eastern or Western. And so for me, as a literature person who loves Middle Eastern music and who loves to sing and play percussion, I just felt that it was too advanced that both of these areas, maqam and takasim, were far too advanced for me. And without a formal background in music, I could never do either of these things. I can never comprehend either of these things. So these were my challenges. And also there was the fear factor. I was too afraid to try because it just seemed like climbing Mount Everest, let's say. So Maya Yusuf's um, teaching is very down to earth and very pragmatic. And also she is the most supportive teacher ever. She helps students, I'll speak for myself, she helped me conquer my fear factor, just starting from the very beginning with the, um, uh, with the maqam. She goes through each maqam, the building blocks. She talks about maqam as building blocks, the root, below the root, and the branch. And this metaphor of maqam as a tree uh, is really beautiful because a tree is a living, a living thing, and maqam and taksim are living art forms. So first of all, the way she explained maqam was for the first time a light went on. Oh, I understand this now. And uh, her helping students and teaching students how to do taksims is so special. She's worked with me individually. Our one-on-one -on -one class was fantastic because we started with the very, very basic uh, maqam nahawan. We did the introduction below the root and we worked on moving around in the root and then in the branch, the kafla, and she explains all these different steps of doing a takasim in a certain maqam from the beginning in terms that even someone like me who's very intimidated, very, very intimidated about maqam and doing an actual takasim could understand and do. And actually, I had the pleasure <laughs> of our last lesson of producing a takasim in Nahawan with Maya's guidance. There is no way I could have produced a takasim in Nahawan or even had understood the rules and the steps and the components of Nahawand and expand that to any of the makamat without 
Maya's guidance, her patience, her passion, her enthusiasm, and her inspiration. So I feel like this is something I can do now. I'm building an understanding of Makamat. I'm slowly and surely building my confidence with Takasim, starting very simple, but I know the directions and the compositions and the steps and the building blocks of Makam and building a Takasim now. And I cannot recommend Maya strongly enough for any uh, music practitioner, especially, of course, Middle Eastern music, if you understand Makam and you think you're a fantastic uh, musician and your Taksims are great, take Maya Yusuf's course. If you are terrified, as I was, of even understanding Makamat, terrified of producing a Takasim and think, I can't do this, I can never do this. You must, you must. I cannot recommend highly enough Maya Yusuf's uh, Takasim course because she will magically, miraculously, because of who she is, help you get to where you want to go. Maya is a miraculous teacher, not just an incredible performer, composer, She's an amazingly inspirational person, and she has the patience, the passion, and the generosity, and the expertise to help anybody and everybody in her presence move forward to where they want to be musically. So I highly recommend Maya Yusuf's uh, Makam and Takasim course. Thank you.